Hello friends, it's been like decade I have made the video. In community post, I have written why was I offline for months. So now I am online and promise to make video weekly. This video got little bit lengthy. My voice sounds little bit dead, but stay alive till end. In the previous video, we learned how to automate login in Spotify with CSS selector and XPath. So in this video, we will learn more about Selenium with automating Spotify and also implementing this in our assistant. So let's begin with it. So defining a function download for downloading song or album from the current browser, we will install a library named SpotDL. SpotDL library used to download song and album from Spotify. You can install SpotDL by doing pip install SpotDL. So to download an album or song, you just need to call SpotDL and provide link of song or the album. So for example, I am taking this as an example. We will make two string and add string1 and string2. String1 is SpotDL and remember to give these spaces as you can see in the example. String2 will be the link of the song. So to get current URL from the browser, we will do driver.currenturl. Now we will make variable string and add both the strings and append it in os.system method. So os.system method execute the command in a subshell. The command generates output and it is sent to the interpreter with standard output stream. So now we will print statement of downloading. Before calling a function, first we will redirect to a song. So adding slip for 3 seconds. Let me just import from time input slip and calling driver.getURL. Here we will put URL of any song for test. So it will open the song after 3 seconds and then we will call download function to download this song. After 50 seconds, we will close the driver. So to close driver, we use driver.close. If driver is not closed, the driver will keep running in the background and consume RAM every time the driver is called. So it is important to close the driver. So now we will run the program for test. Auto login, which we learned in previous video. After 3 seconds, it redirects to a given URL of the song and then song start downloading. After song is downloaded, we see the we see this in current working directory. We get the song with the icon, which is cool. To add song in playlist, we click on the three dot and hover the add to playlist, and we get the playlist that we have created. We will automate by adding this song in anime song playlist. First, we will try by just clicking the button and see what happens. And further, we will learn some concept and automate this effectively. So let's create a function named playlist element by xpath and dot click to click the button. In first part, we have covered this part in more detail. So you can go through that. We will duplicate this three times because we need three clicks to add the song in the playlist. 3 dot is an SVG. If directly use the X path, it will throw error. So to click an SVG, there is a method which you can find in my website. But I just edited the end removing SVG part and this worked for me. You can also try different approach which I have explained in the website. Next we will simply get the X path of add to playlist. If you are getting error in single quotes, try using double quotes. Now let's copy the XPath of anime song playlist. For a test, we are commenting the download function and calling the playlist function. So let's run and see the result. First set auto logins, then redirects to a song.
hit click the buttons two buttons but not the third one we get an error because the path we provided does not got enough time to get search or load so to search a path it requires some time for searching and loading and here clicks are called simultaneously as you can see so let's add some time by adding slip for two seconds each before I click and let's run and see the result and now this time it works as you can see the song is already added in the playlist and asking you again to add we used sleep which is not good practice for automation the effective way of handling this is by using weight and action chains the question is what are weights and action chains action chains are interaction such as mouse movement button actions this is useful for doing more complex actions such as over and drag and drop let's import action chain so we have to over to playlist and then click on any song let's create a variable name submenu which is equals to driver dot find element by xpath and give the path of xpath chain variable for action change and put driver chain dot move to element submenu dot perform so perform to perform the action chain as we know if we use sleep we face error here instead of sleep we will use wait here explicit wait which is the condition in which the condition is called with a certain frequency until the time of the wait is elapsed this means that for as long as the condition returns a false value it will keep running and waiting so now let's import this one more thing we need uh, we need to add this explicit weight which is expected condition explicit weight is performed until the expected condition is satisfied or the weight duration has elapsed so let's import expected condition weight variable which holds time wait until for the condition element to be clickable and provide the same path now let's just print add to anime playlist and now you can use this anywhere where you feel uh, error might occur uh, like in this login function it will it will wait for the login button after filling both password and email then it will click so we will implement this here and let's run and see the result that's it for today guys in next video we will implement this in our assistant until then you can try to make like function in spotify and remember one thing there are endless automation you can implement in the ai assistant so if you want to learn more new projects subscribe to the channel and thank you